Pinocchio on Disney Minus has a deep spiritual underlying message to it, specifically during the scenes related to Pleasure Island. Later in the movie, Pinocchio gets picked up by the coachman and a bunch of kids as they head to Pleasure Island. Pinocchio said he didn't want to go, but inevitably gives in to peer pressure and arrives at Pleasure Island. The coachman introduces Pleasure Island and says that it's a place where no one's going to tell you no, so you can do whatever you want. On Pleasure Island, we get a glimpse of various sinful activities being engaged in such as gluttony, theft, drunkenness, how the college party lifestyle can corrupt many, and cursing others and having a lack of self-control. Oh, and on a side note, for those of you that know anything about Freemasonry and the Illuminati, they love to use one-eyed symbolism. Then the coachman jumps out and surprises Pinocchio and his buddy Lampstand with more beer and tells him that he's not going to need his conscience anymore and just to have fun and play. In relation to real life, Pleasure Island symbolizes those who indulge in practicing a sinful lifestyle without repenting and turning from their sins. James 1.15 says, Then, after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it's full grown, gives birth to death. And that's exactly what we see in the next scene, which is where things get really dark and really interesting. This underground scene with the kids shown as donkeys and getting transported into a cage by monsters represents all those who lived a foolish, sinful lifestyle without repentance entering into death and being taken to hell by demons. The ship to salt mines text symbolizes the people going to hell. Notice how Jiminy Cricket even says it's like he dropped into HE double hockey sticks. Also, notice how the donkeys are all weeping as the Bible says there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The coachman, who symbolizes Satan, even says, the sooner these donkeys get to the salt mines, the sooner I get paid. In other words, the sooner he gets paid all the souls that he took. A little bit later we see Pinocchio is starting to turn into a donkey himself, but doesn't quite get to that point because he turned from his ways and left the sinful lifestyle of Pleasure Island. But the coachman chases after him because he seeks to devour as many as possible. Pretty interesting looking at it through this lens. And finally, I want to point out that the scriptwriters of this movie knew exactly what they were putting in here, and a lot of times the truth is hidden in plain sight but many people fail to see it due to lack of understanding and blindness. Most of you will overlook this next scene I'm about to show you, but the script writers tell us the truth about real science as it agrees with biblical teachings about the sun and the earth. The earth is exactly the way the Bible describes it. Let God be true and every man a liar. Father, what's that big shining thing? Oh, that is the sun, my son. It goes around the earth once a day, it's basic. Simple science. You'll learn all about it in school.